Now the funny thing is, as I get older and older, I turn into a child. And you may ask, why is that? Well, it's all about the why. Remember when you were a kid, you didn't know very much. So whenever an adult told you something, you always ask, why? And as we grow up, we try to be smart. So we pretend that we know stuff and we forget to ask the question why. And why is a very important question to ask throughout your life because we don't know everything. And if we pretend to know, we take the information in, but we don't know why. We don't go back to first principles and we understand why we have to do things a particular way. Now, in the roofing game, we learn a lot of things in roofing school. We are taught how to lay a roof and all the technical things about roofing. And we take it all in and we go, okay, we're going to apply the knowledge. But we don't often ask the question why some things are done the way it's supposed to be done. For instance, turning up the ends of the roof sheets. So we learned at roofing school that if you lay a roof sheet, that you're going to turn the top end up and you're going to turn the bottom end down. So most roofers will naturally turn the sheets up, turn the sheets down, without really asking why that has to be done. So if you don't know how important something is, you can maybe sometimes just leave it out. Or you may do something to compromise how the sheets are turned up or how they're turned down. So let me tell a little story to demonstrate. Now a builder asked me to have a look at his roof, a brand new roof, and it leaked the day that it was installed. So months and months and months on, no one could find why it was leaking. So it was up to me to get on the roof and ask myself why. Why was this roof leaking at this particular spot? Now, this was a clip lock metal roof. Everything looked fine. And naturally, the first thing I did was look at all the flashings, looked at all the joints. And this was done by the other roofers and they still couldn't find anything wrong. So once I've covered all the simple things, I had to go and ask myself, why is this roof still leaking? And when you ask why, you've got to go back to the fundamentals, the first principles. So one, is the roof turned up where it's leaking? So I peeled the apron off and looked underneath and I can see that all the sheets have been turned up. So the roof has done the right thing. So I'm wondering why is it leaking? But then as I get closer to a corner of the roof, I notice something weird. Now the end of the clip lock roof sheet was indeed turned up, but a corner had been cut out at the turn up. So as a result, there was a hole. There was physically no turn up, so there's a hole. And that was where the water was going in. So I asked myself the question, why? If every sheet's been turned up, why this particular sheet has been notched out? And upon closer inspection, you'll see that there is a structural element right at the corner. And when the roofer had to put the roof sheet on, the roof sheet actually collided with the structural member. So the roofers would have gone, there's a problem here. So he notched the end of the roof sheet up and installed it. And then put the flashings on, everything looked good. And the roof's all done and it should work. Now the question is, why didn't this roofer who was turning the sheets up, why did he realize the importance of the turn up? Why did he cut the corner out of the turn up and ruin the installation of the sheet? I don't know. And this is an example of someone who just does something because he's been taught to do so, but he doesn't quite know how important it is, why it's done so that when he does something to compromise it, he doesn't realize that it is actually compromised the function of the roof. 
So I'm suddenly realizing that the major downfall in how we train our people is that we're treating our trainees like adults who should know what they are doing. So therefore, they don't need to ask that stupid question, why? Now, just by asking why will expose the fundamental flaw in how something is being taught. Because if the student has to ask the question why, it means that the teacher has not taught the subject properly because the student hasn't been able to understand fully what the subject topic is all about. Now, if the teacher is pushing back against the question why, it will probably expose the teacher as not being able to answer the question why. And this will expose the expertise of the teacher. Now, a good trainer should always welcome the question why, because it will expose the flaws in the way that a subject has been taught. So why should be really welcomed instead of pushed back against? Why? Why is the most important question we all have to ask. Even if we think we understand, we should go back and say, why? Because it's by asking the why do we get to really, really understand the fundamentals of anything in what we do with roofing and also what life is all about. Why? Why are we here doing what we are doing?